Hello guys, Vengeancer here, bringing you another BDO video. He came to see me. Trying to clear out my inventory real quick. I left my character fishing overnight, and of course, uh, the patch, they took it down for maintenance, so it kicked me off, and then I set it back up uh, earlier this morning, but... I had not cleared my inventory yet, so getting some of my silver back. Uh, I kind of want to go over where all of this is going. Um, I put out a poll and made a, a couple of, of community posts. <laughs> I don't enjoy doing the patch note overviews. Um, I just don't. So, for the time being, I'm not going to do those. Yeah. But I do want to say that I've decided after looking at all the poll stuff and looking over everything that uh, I've been considering with all the health stuff and everything, I am I'm going to do one long form Let's Play video of a game that I want to play. Um, it won't always be the same game. I've got a lot of AAA titles, even indie titles. I've just got a lot of uh, single player games that I want to uh push myself through ones that I haven't played uh, or ones that I have played and want to replay. Uh, so there will be that going through the channel, but I also am going to be doing uh, grinding videos, how-to videos on, on uh, video like I always have. And then uh, I still am going to be doing the LC content, uh, Last Chaos, uh, update videos on that. So today is going to be a... BDO update video basically because it's been a little bit and there's been a lot of stuff going on uh, I have done a lot of stuff behind the scenes so let me collect a few things feed my workers and my pets uh, the rest of this stuff don't care I will briefly mention the patch notes I kind of glanced over them I'm not going to do a full video on it but the new class is out the Wusa. Um, I won't be playing it. I'm just not into, uh, female classes. Um, in MMORPGs, I usually try to have my character pretty self-resemblance, um, as, as much as I can. Just because, um, I mean, I come from an, the older, uh, view of gaming to where your character or avatar is an extension of yourself. So I always try to make mine uh, something that I could uh, deal with if, if it was me in the game. And I don't dress up as, as a lady, even if that is accepted and stuff, and I don't do that. So um, this is what you get. <laughs> uh, but that being said i have worked my way through the rest of the mountain of eternal winter and i also worked my way through the uh the magnus quest all i have left are the ataraxians for the main quest and then all of the suggested ones that uh haven't been done so today i am going to uh go visit the loyalty shop really quick oh look 20 percent discount coupon for 100 silver they're not even giving them away for free anymore uh, but we're going to hit the loyalty shop, and the reason I'm going to hit the loyalty shop is because I don't want to use one of my value packs right now. And so we're going to spend 2800 loyalty and get a one-day value pack. And I also wanted to look if you need an underwear box. Yeah, it's underwear for male classes. Nude basic underwear for female classes. Shy bear hug underwear. Okay. Well, there's that if you want that. I haven't looked at the loyalty shop in a while, but... Um, I don't use my loyalty. You see, I got 56,000. So, I am going to use this and get the one day. Yes. And... We're going to pop that on one day. You can see I got a bunch of apparel bags and a young griffin. What does that do? Uh, plus 
hostility detection what is durability reduction that's pretty cool i got the young griffin i might change over and use that i don't i don't plan on selling it but the reason i am going with a one day value pack is because there's some silver i need to collect out of here i have 12 and a half billion and i have sold a lot uh of stuff I always sell all the trots and everything, um, and then I sold a bunch of other stuff to clear my inventory out. This stuff, I'm going to just dump it to get it out of uh, medium. Okay, relist. Get it out of there. Uh, these we're going to go ahead and sell, 21 million. Beast trots I can list because I collected. Uh, celerity I'm keeping. I'm going to keep that elixir. This stuff I don't need. Scorched fragments I'm going to sell. Don't need them. At least not right now. Citron seed I'll keep. This ook pill. I don't know what it's for. I'm keeping it. Citron tea. Don't really need it. That I don't need as well. Cornmeal. Don't need. Uh, these are for a quest that I'm getting ready to do. Uh, the Grinnell gloves can stay gems can stay i'm back up to 671 relics after selling most of them i still have my two value packs um rest of that stuff can stay but the reason i popped on the um value pack is so i could collect the silver from this ben griffin so if you've done the magnus quest you know that the quest gives you a free um piece of gear a free pen piece of gear. Now, all my gear was already penned and Kaffir's stoned to uh, level 4. But I enhanced the Dim Tree myself. has my family name on it. I also enhanced the Muskin Shoes myself. It has a family name on it. These I did buy off the market, but it glitched out and doesn't have a name on them. So, they're fine for now. But the pen, the, the helmet... Which you can see it also doesn't have the family name on it. But that's fine. I got it through the, the quest. And this isn't going to matter because whenever we change it over to uh, the Labresca. It will have the family name. Same with the gloves. We'll eventually get the gloves next year sometime. So all I have to do really is uh, dump Kaffir's levels into these three pieces of gear. Until I hit Kaffir's 10 on all of them. Uh, and then I can swap it over to the uh, Fallen God armor and then Labrescas and then the um, equivalent for the gloves and eventually we'll get the boots. But that is where I'm at. So what I did is I pulled all the Kaffirs out, the, the, the crappy crystals that I got, I pulled those out and then I sold the Pen Griffin helm and the chose the Pen Griffin's helmet from the, uh, the quest. Um, and that's what I'm using. I put the crystals and Kaffirs back in it. I lost a little bit of Kaffirs when I pulled it out, but that's fine. Uh, I can grind those back or buy them back, but this is what I'm at. Uh, we got plus one AP and DP for the Wusa release. I don't know. I think it, it's not permanent, but I think we get it for like a, a month or whatever. So I'm at, I was at 277. So my real, uh, AP DP is 277, 349. And then, of course, we have the Happy Black Spirit plus one AP and DP. So the idea is to sell the Pen Griffin and get my money back out of it, my silver. And then uh, I need to buy. I need to do these three cool or these two quests. Um, increase stats. No, this this is one of them. I need to do this. It'll uh, increase my DP plus one. I already have the. Um, Ronro's ring and uh, the other two uh, necklaces or rings, whatever they are, I forget. And then I also need to do this, which is going to take three. I'm going to need three Tungrad accessories, so i got to buy three of those. So I need silver for that. And then I'm also going to need silver for the other thing that I'm about to do. Uh, so we collect all the silver up. 
12.7 and then I should get like 9 bill or 8.7 or something out of this. 8.4. Close enough. So I'm at 21 uh, billion on that. Let's go look at Tungrad. What's a Tungrad ring? 177 for the ring. What's the necklace cost? 98. What's the earring? 90. And then what's a belt? 111. So necklace is probably the cheap. No, earring is the cheapest at 90. 89. Uh, so we're gonna need three of those. So we're gonna buy that real quick. Got those. Um, so I can go do that quest, and then I've got the cadre and the um, horse. So the quests are taken care of. I have 20.9 billion. Now the other thing that I need to do is pre-order Vel's Heart because the Vel's Heart is going to give me 3 AP. So by doing the Vel's Heart and by doing the um, the plus 1 AP quest, I'm going to gain 4 AP out of this. And it, I was at 277. It was going to push me to 281, and I'll be in the next bracket as far as AP goes. Um, and we uh, may or may not get one of those. Um, they're capped out at 16 and a half bill and there's no guarantee. So we'll put the pre-order in and just hope that, uh, we get lucky. But the uh, the three passive AP on the sheet AP will will help quite a bit. Um, and I need to visit storage real quick. Many comes and goes. Warehouse. We need to pull these three out, and we need to pull those two out, and we need to pull that out. Um. Now, family empowered. Let's go navigate there and do this so i'm gonna let this guy run while i talk a little bit but we are that's a long ways to run very long way you know what Because I'm pretty sure that we can come out down here at ground now. We'll just pay the silver and uh, come out down here in Kama Silva. Kama Silvia. So we're going to go through the Magnus. Uh, this is the whole point of doing the quest so you can fast travel. I don't want to have to spend 15 minutes running down there to ground. So this will um, make things a little easier. But. I will say the Mountain of Eternal Winter was a decent quest line, as was the Magnus, but man, they're long. Uh, they took forever to get through. And if you hear barking in the background, my, uh, my dog is having a little bit of an issue today. <laughs> a helicopter flew over, and so he thinks somebody's outside. So he keeps just uh, going crazy. So through the Magnus we go. We'll go do this quest. And uh, then I will. Port over and do the uh, other quest. So we go down here and we find the one for Kama Sylvia. And we port through it. I don't know how to tell which one is which without clicking on it. That's Valencia. It's going to cost quite a bit of silver to get down there. That's Mentia. Let's see where you're at. There's Gama Sylvia. Six and a half million silver. It sucks traveling like that with the silver, but if you're grinding and you want to get to your grind spot faster, uh, this is a better way to do it. Six and a half million silver is not really that bad. It's just another gold sink. They could have done that and not put the gold sink in there. I, I think it's kind of dumb that they do have the uh, the gold sinks on the teleport. Nice little Woosa, uh, Woosa loading screen. Come on. 
Too bad we can't, um... Let's do this quest. Justin. Arma. Navigate. No, we don't want the Black Spirit. We need to stop hitting the wrong button. And see, look, we're very close now. Very, very close. Uh, the other thing with the Magnus is that you can access storage from anywhere. Uh, so if I go to a storekeeper and I want to move something from another city's storage into my inventory I can do that now it doesn't work on like trade items and that kind of stuff so it's a little um, limited but for the most part you can uh, transfer most things about one off the cliff there horse but you can transfer most things from anywhere now which opens up the game and makes it feel like a whole different game but that definitely helps things um, and it is tedious going through the Magnus quest, but it's worth it. Especially for the pen, the piece of pen gear. Alright, so now we go here and talk to Marandora. Make your move quest. first. Taking uh, action is the best this way one. to remove your fear. Spam through it. Uh, oh, chat. You look concerned. Lay it all on me. I'm gonna give to talk about give me, the Ronos ring the and give the Kama ring of Kadri Guardian. Cool. Plus one DP. Oh. And I don't need the spirit blessing. And, th and those are all repeatable. Cool. So now we should be at 350. Cool. 350. Um, whenever the butterfly dream goes away, we'll be at 349. But for now, we are at 350. Which... We're only 50 DP away from Major um, being, like, maxed out in gear. Which is not bad. At all. And I'm very close to 600 evasion. Um, 575 plus 14, so 589. Um, and I know there's some other things that I can do as far as evasion goes, but... Once we get the uh, Fallen God armor, we will be very close to 400. I mean, it's going to up by quite a bit. So that is very good. Uh, now, we can do a lot to increase our AP. Um, I need to get this to pen and this to pen. So there's two things. And then I also need to get the rest of these accessories swapped out for pens. The kiboshes are uh, equal to tets, so that's basically like a tet ogre. And it's like a tet tongrad, I think it's one less. I do have the pen crescent from the um, Jatina quest, but then the pen kibosha is equivalent to a tet crescent. So we're missing a few AP there, and then tet tongrads, obviously, we're not uh, near pen yet, so... But we will be at uh, 282 succession with with this um, butterfly dream buff on. So that, uh, you know, it's not bad at all. Uh, let's do this. Navigate. Where is this at? I'm going to let this run and then I'll pick it back up when I'm over in Odraxia. So... Be right back. Okay, I'm over here in Odraxia now. Let the uh, horse auto run over to this quest. This place is a maze over here. Odalita. Odraxia. The darkness Best. hidden beyond the world shadow. It will be cleansed by another darkness bloomed from the wrath of Mother. I'm pretty sure that's, uh... Yeah. 
How far do we have to run? Good grief. I hope this doesn't get my horse killed having to go down into this 310 AP place. Well, I guess we'll see. I'm going to leave it at recording just in case something bad happens. We should be able to uh, survive. The other thing that happened while... Uh, I don't remember if I made a video on this or not, but while we had all of the Old Moon um, buffs, the, the book, Secret Book of Old Moon, um, while from the um, daily logins that auto-applied, I went ahead and reworked my skills, and now I have a an Awakening and a Succession PvE build. Um, if... The succession doesn't serve me as well as I think it should, then I can go to a skill manager or a skill instructor and swap over to awakening and then grind his awakening. Yeah, I have two more AP in awakening than I do in um, succession, so it might be beneficial. If I'm like right on the edge of a spot and I need a couple more AP to push me past the threshold, then I can just grind in awakening. Uh, Awakening is supposed to be better than Succession and PvE anyway. Uh, since they did the buffs. Uh, one more thing. Um, Reign of Fire replaces Dagger Stab on Wizards after you do the Magnus. This is a pretty strong skill. Uh, it replaces the, the F key, which was Dagger Stab before. So that is the other point of doing the Magnus. You get another powerful skill. Oh, let's hope my horse doesn't get killed in this uh, area. So I need to update my saves for my presets to include the uh, Reign of Fire. And then uh, I need to swap over to my other one and uh, my Awakening and resave it too. But I figured while I was on camera here, I would... Uh, while I was recording, I would uh, go over some of that stuff and then uh, get these two uh, quests done and uh, pre-order the Vel's Heart. Which, we did all of that. Now, the last thing, while this guy's still running, is moving forward. Oh, these guys are trying to attack my horse. <laughs> uh, moving forward, the progress that I'm going to have to make on uh, BDO here is going to be the infinite potion piece. No, nope, you don't get to do this to my horse. We're, we're, we're getting out of here. My horse, I was AFK running and it took me through this area one time before. And my horse actually got killed here. It was the first death on this horse. I was pretty upset. Anyway, back to um, this quest and then I'll finish my uh, thought on what progress we're going to have to make. Can be stopped with a bigger darkness or avoided blah 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 darkness something hidden underneath a world shadow is approaching i don't read this we're just busting through plus one ap life. for everybody yay can that serpent be the one known as the eye of darkness and what did we get cool we got all the records and we got the ap so I am at 279 Succession, which that should be 278, and I am at 281 Awakening, which that puts me over the um, AP bracket for Awakening. Uh, 281 is the next bracket, so it goes 277 to 280, and then 281 on up, at least I, or if I remember correctly. So um, after I get the Vel's Heart, it will push me past on Succession as well. And then uh, my future upgrades as far as the staff, I think I can get, like, what is the Tet Godder staff? What is it? Um, so it's 122, 128 right now. Uh, staff, staff, staff. What is that? Uh, that will give me 6 AP if I can get it to Tet. And then, of course, Pen gives me 9. So... 
we would be without this um, butterfly dream buff we would be at 281 if I pen this thing it will put me at 290 um, which is very good and then if I go ahead and do that that'll give me what one or two extra so I'll be at like 291 292 and then the accessories will push me over 300 uh, which is my plan so I'm gonna set this thing to run back to Heidel and finish off this video with my plan of moving forward I am going to be grinding the HP potion I talked about that before but now that I'm through the Magnus and all the quests and everything and actually have the Vel's heart ordered uh, and I have four billion to work with 4.4 left over to work with we're going to be grinding the HP potion and that's going to start back in Blood Wolves. So moving forward from there, uh, whatever silver I have left is going to pour into the... we got to get out of here. I'm going to be pouring into upgrading the staff. I don't care if the uh, thing is upon me. We're getting out of here. Alright, I'm going to let this run. So we'll be um, grinding the HP potion once I get through those three pieces and uh, get the potion put together. Um, I will move on to grinding uh, sun shards. scroll down I don't know uh, these sun shards here which you need to make the stones to upgrade the uh, godder weapons and I'll be uh, smashing that until it gets to Tet so we'll be grinding Elvia for those I also need to go and grind uh, secondary grinding is gonna be for the MP instead of the HP so I need the mana the infinite mana potion uh, that is going to be on my secondary grind list, and then the cups for accessories are going to be on my secondary grind list. But uh, primary grind is going to be H HP potion, uh, followed up by the Elvia grind for the sun shards. And then I'm going to just dump silver into upgrading the staff probably, because I got nothing else uh, planned, because all my armor is pen. And the real big uh, AP gains are going to be from upgrading this staff, uh, followed up by the other weapons uh, before. I want to do my accessories last, uh, because they're small incremental gains. Like if I upgrade this to a pen, I'm going to get 3 or 4 AP versus 9 AP out of this. Uh, same with this, it's going to be about 5 AP, so the necklace is uh, going to be priority on accessories. Um... As you can see in my inventory, I've got a bunch of scrolls that give me 50 and uh, 30 and 50, and then I've got these 100% that don't expire. So I will be working through all of those uh, at Blood Wolves for the HP potion. Probably going to have to grind the 80 something uh, pity pieces that are left. I think I'm at like 15. Oh, I'm at 20. So I need 80 more uh, Blood Wolf Loaves. Plus, I've got all the trash loot from there. Um, that'll give me more silver. So by the time I grind all that, I'll have a lot. That will help. Then we'll move on to Sherikon. But that's all I got. Um, kind of a long video, but I haven't recorded in a while. Haven't felt like recording in a while. But I finally have. So, so there it is. It is what it is. Um... I've also managed to get the other game that I want to record back to where I can actually record it. So uh, I'm going to start recording that very soon. Lots more content. Uh, good for everyone. Good for me and for you guys watching. Um, but that's all I got. So enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, I am out of here. So as always, until next time.